This video is going to teach you the relationship between the equilibrium constant K and the value of E cell. To understand this relationship, we're going to be using two equations. The first equation is one that we learned quite a while ago, the relationship between Gibbs free energy and the equilibrium constant. Delta G equals negative RT times the natural log of the equilibrium constant K. In this equation, R is a constant, the gas constant, T is temperature, and then as you know, K is the equilibrium constant. We're also going to use an equation that we just learned. Delta G is negative NF E cell. And if we want, we can put some standard symbols on these different terms. So because negative RT ln K is equal to delta G and negative NF E cell is equal to delta G, we can go ahead and just combine these two equations and we can say that negative RT times the natural log of K is equal to negative NF E cell. And since what we're really looking for is a relationship between K and E cell, what we're going to do is just rearrange this equation right here to isolate the E cell variable. We're also going to get rid of these negative signs since both sides have a negative sign, they're not necessary anymore. So this equation is going to become E cell equals RT natural log of K over NF. So all I just did there was some basic algebraic uh, manipulation to give me this equation right here. And this is an equation that gives us, like I said, our goal, a relationship between E cell and the value of the equilibrium constant. When we are dealing with standard conditions, which is ideal, so when we are under standard conditions, um, and remember standard conditions dictate things like the temperature, 25 degrees C, which is a variable here. When we are under standard conditions and our temperature is 25 degrees C, and we have a couple of constants in this equation as well, we can actually take the value of R, we can take the constant temperature because it's under standard conditions, and we can take the value of F. All three of these things are constants, and we can just do the math on all three of them right off the bat just to kind of get it out of the way. And that gives us an equation 0 0.0257 volts over n times the natural log of k. Now if you're kind of confused about what just happened, <laughs> where did this come from, um, what I've done here is taken the value of r because it is a constant, I've taken the value of f because it also is a constant, and I've taken the temperature to be equal to 298 Kelvin because under standard conditions, that means the temperature has to be 25 degrees C. And so I've multiplied R times T divided by F and that gave me this 0 0.0257 number. N is not a constant, it varies um, for each redox reaction. So that's still in this equation and the same for the natural log of K. Not everybody likes to use the natural log, so math gives us the ability to rearrange this equation to convert from natural log to log base 10. And this would be the form of the equation that you would use if that was your preference. 0 0.0592 volts over N times log base 10 of K. You can use either one of these equations, whichever one you would prefer. Let's practice using these equations. Let's calculate the value of the equilibrium constant K if we have E cell equal to 0.78 volts. That was the example that we had on the previous video. And if the value of N for this reaction is two. This is pretty simple to use um, just in terms of getting everything plugged into this equation. I like to use the log base 10 equation, so that's gonna be the one that I use. I'm gonna plug in my value of E cell first. It is 0.78 volts, and that is equal to my constants. I'll add it up there, 0 0.0592 volts, divided by my value of N, which the problem says is two, times the log base 10 of K. So I've just got to do a little bit of math first to isolate the log base 10 part. I'm going to take the 0.78 volts and I'm gonna divide it by this term over here. And that's going to give me 26.35. And there's no units on this because the volt units cancel out. But that 26.35 is going to be equal to the log of K. 
And then you just need to know how to undo a log or take the inverse log. For a log, we're going to do 10 to the 26.35, which is equal to, um, k is equal to 2.2 times 10 to the 26. And that's all there is to it.